Hey everyone, apologies for the uh, absence. I haven't posted a Let's Play in, in, in weeks. And that's because I have school and life and, and yeah, just things have gotten kind of crazy on my end. So I had to put these Let's Plays on the back burner. If you didn't watch my Council episodes, then uh, you don't know that I will not be having a face cam. Um, because when I use my face cam, I use natural lighting in order to... Uh, have lighting <laughs> essentially because I don't I don't have a lamp so in order to produce like more videos I figured you know what I'm just going to like not have the face cam and see how much I can do uh, in making videos without the face cam and, and having to rely on like you know day and stuff because now I can record into the night I can record whenever I feel like it and that that should make things easier for producing videos so no face cam anymore for I think a little while until I can get a lamp or or I figure things out. Sometimes I might I might pop in my ugly mug here and then here and there, but uh, for now no face cam. Anyways, let's get back to it. So if you are watching the series back to back, then you are sort of in the know. Whereas I kind of forgot a couple of things. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. So I've spent just a little bit of time orienting myself. I don't remember precisely the breeding pairs, but I know conceptually what I want to do. I want to move everybody as fast as I can through these islands, island hop, even if my guys take damage, just to move the tribe north. I don't really want to stay in the island for too long. Um, I've just always had a bad experience here. Also, uh, the borders, you know, with the ocean and stuff like that, just makes it so colonizing isn't as easy as it was before, right? Where we had large swath of land that we could cover. Here are these islands. Um, they can be pretty treacherous uh, if you're not keeping the community together. So I'm going to move everybody north, and that's basically the plan. Also, I have uh, animals that need to breed because they're coming to an age. She has six days left. Uh, Mila does. Lassian, Lazian, lazy person, has six days left. And Perino has seven days left. So um, we need to get them breeding. Uh, I think it's Tonda Cola who will be with Mila. And that's because he already, I mean, I, I set wings for him. I don't remember why I did that, but I mean, hey, he, he fits perfectly with with Mila because her genes is I and A, his is B and C, and let's see, his vision is good eyes, and she is short-sighted, and she has a mutation for eyes. So I think these are the two. We're going to be a, a breeding pair. For Lassian, she doesn't have mutations ready. B and G, and I think it's with Ku, I want to say. B and G, I and H. Oh boy, I don't remember. I think I wanted to make Lassian, yeah, nimble fingers, so collecting and cracking is essential. Um, I think I'm going to have that happen. Prudental Lota is A and F. So, infertile, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so he has to worry about blindness as well. So he has nine days, she has six days, B and G, A and F. So we're going to have Bradonta with Lassian. Again, apologies if you're watching the last episode and you're like, that was not the breeding pair you had set up. I don't remember. And honestly, I should have watched the last episode. I have a tendency to not do that. Um, so I'm just winging it as we go. Um, for Prino, he's I and G. So what other females do we have? Uh, B star. She's coming close to an age. I kind of want to keep the ages near each other just so it's easier to time uh, deaths. So she's D and H, and you are I and G. So your genes are good. You guys can breed. Problem is, he's wings, right? Whereas she has bear claws and a velvet paw. And she, her mutation does not um, support that. Did I adjust someone's mutation to sort of give me an indicator as to who they're supposed to be breeding with? Nine. No, I did not. Other than to, uh, Tonda and Mila, 
I don't know who else is supposed to be breeding. Huh. I mean, Perdonta. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, Nimble Fingers double here because I already know that I'm gonna set it with. With Perdonta. So she's gonna go ahead and have. Uh, nimble Fingers. Did you fix jeans? No, you didn't. Um. Let's have you also do fertility. Okay. And then uh, for Ku is male. Gosh, we need, who's the other female? So it's the, the female is either going to be L uh, Lorenzi or Sariri. And I think Sariri is going to be with Vaughn. I think that's what I had in mind. I think. Or no, no. Is Vaughn with Lorenzi? I think Vaughn may be with Lorenzi. To try to keep that, that fang stuff, whereas Sariri may have been, because she doesn't have any mutation set already, she can go ahead and be with Prino. I don't remember. I'm so sorry, y'all, if you're just like, no, that wasn't the breeding pair, but I I don't remember what it was, and I think this still works, okay? She has, she already has this setup, so even, so having her breed with Prino would set up, I think, a bad sort of ratio for wings because she has you know velipaw Bar bariana claw if they were to if they were to breed i think they would have a 50 50 shot there whereas for um sariri what whereas she has nimble fingers and you know digging paw let's see do you have collect you can collect still we're gonna go ahead and have her be all wings and um have her mate with Perino. Okay, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start establishing uh, home points, and we're gonna start with our eldest. So Lassian is is our eldest, right? Uh, eldest in that she has six days remaining, and he has nine days remaining. Okay, well we have to move everyone else out of the way, so never mind about that. Let's go ahead and move Mila, or. Yeah, let's move Mila, because she's kind of blocking the way here. We're just going to move her... I think setting up camp here is fine, because he has nimble fingers and a digging paw, so he can at least crack and stuff. We're going to try to use this tree here. So we're going to have her jump here. Um, next, we're going to have Tonda. Damn, he cannot move, can he? I think, is it all these trees here? No, no, no. It's just, just he can't move that far. Damn, damn, damn. You can land right here on this tree. That's kind of weird. Um, let's see. What is she going to do? Because we want to have them mate. Like, on this turn. So, um... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move him through here. Move him through here. And we're gonna have him... We're gonna have her breed with him. See what that, that works. Okay, it worked. So she's gonna go ahead and build a nest. Wow, look at these resources. I forget we had so many. Um, and the genes were all set up, right? And then for you, you're going to go ahead and use this opportunity to uh, cut grass. Okay, next. We're, we need to move Perdonta, Lata, and Lazian into Posiciones. So, while they sort of have this as their home point, we're going to need to pr uh, push further into the island. So we're going to go this island, and from here, we're going to make the jump onto this island, this island. We're just hugging right, we're hugging right, and then we're going to go up north. So that's pretty much the plan, and oh my god, this is taking forever to move. Is there a way to adjust... Sensitivity, scrolling sensitivity. It doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, I could just hold the mouse. Okay. Hmm. Next, what we're going to do is push her forward. Let's see. Can we... Maybe we move Prino forward. Because he's blocking um, Predonto's... Uh, oh, he's not really blocking Predonto's way. But he's male and he's there's a lower chance of... No, I don't want to move her... I don't want to move him too far from Sariri. Okay, so let's go ahead and move uh, Lezion 
Oh, but because it's not cut grass and no one has sight, it's going to be harder for her to move. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move Prino once. We're going to move him to the side here just to get vision, a little bit of further in vision. She's going to go up. She only has six days, so I need her to breed quickly as well. We're going to go ahead and move him up once. Uh, you're at seven days. Um, that's fine. That's fine. So we're, let's have you push further in. Because I would rather he miss out on those days. Okay. So she has one day left. Or not one day. One action turn. One action turn. One action point, right? Isn't that how that works? <laughs> how does this game work again? Uh, yes. So she has that. Let's go ahead and move her. Uh, let's go ahead and breed with her right here. Everyone's set with their mutations. Mutation set. Okay. Go ahead and breed. It didn't work, right? Because he has that infer infertile thing going on. Let's have him try again. It worked this time. So let's go ahead and move uh, Lesion inward. Have her build the nest. And there you go. So these two are going to be set up for uh, tomorrow. All right. So the breeding pair for these two... Uh, let's go ahead and change his face. I know he has the amphibian face, and that works to our advantage now. Um, and honestly, it might take us two, I want to say three, two to three generations to, to move north, maybe even four or five generations. So, you know, you might be thinking like, oh, well then just in invest in the in the gills, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Um... Well, let's let's see what other benefits does it have the gills do other than underwater breathing okay for face so the cracker jaw helps with cracking which we don't really need if we have fingers that can do that right so you know what oh I don't have amphibian I couldn't even if I wanted to uh, I think it's it's locked out right I have to fish I think I have to swim he has to swim in order to get it. So even if he wanted to, he couldn't. So let's go ahead and um, claw for fishing. Okay, let's have one claw. Wait, 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 wait. She has... Okay, let's go ahead and have one claw for fishing and one nimble fingers. We're going to try our best to play with that, right? Um... They don't have to breed right now, nine days. We will we'll try to match them to, oh, they're perfect, perfect together. Let's try to match them to um, day six to start breeding. But what they can do now is they can go ahead and cut grass. So van, cut, cut that, cut the one you're standing on, cut this one, cut that one, move her up. Uh, Islin and Ku. So Islin and Ku, B star, G star. So these two are of the royal line. I'm gonna go ahead and change their color to royal purple. I don't have that, so I guess we're going royal pink. You know, it's funny. I I do this sometimes. Ooh, do not breed. And the, I end up forgetting all about it. Uh, you know, as the further along the game gets, I just end up just forgetting the jewel colors. But. Uh, yeah, I wish there was a setting where you could do it like through heredity, like just say like, okay, if this creature breeds, this color, you know, carries on. But uh, fortunately, the game does not do that. So if you have to micromanage it all the time, I kind of get lazy about it. Anyways, thankfully, the, these these this couple right here, they can just start cutting grass because they have plenty of plenty of time. And if anything, these this four here can be our lead in scouts. I just had to set these up these these couples up right now because of their of, the, of their age so it was su super immediate um i think we're in a good spot so let's go ahead and uh pass the day cool what is this oh right uh failed failed um mating process and then let's check out our babies let's go ahead and show the baby here wow it looks adorable Oh my god, look at this thing. Lend me. Oh, it only has one wing. Oh, that's a bummer. Did I set you to have two wings for me to... Yeah, it's just unlucky. It's just unlucky. Um, we're going to go ahead and have him set for wings. 
just because we're gonna try to keep that going. Um, he has one one. Let's hopefully it's a it's a digging paw. That's kind of useless. I see. So the only good thing he has with him is or her. Sorry, the only th the only good thing about her is her jeans right now and her digging paw. But that's not saying a lot. She's kind of. Oh, if this was only a different thing. If this was only collecting, we'd be in a better position, but it's not. So, um, the most she'll be used for, I think, right now is scouting, cutting grass, and uh, trying to share that gene. So that's good for her uh, in that end, but uh, for anything else, she cannot contribute more than that, and the lack of versatility could harm us. So, that's just, that's just really unfortunate. Um, oh, it's really unfortunate. Okay, B, C, I, A. Let's try to get an I, an A here. So let's go ahead and, um, do you have fertility issues? No, it was, it was, uh, this couple here that have fertility issues. So we'll go ahead and check the baby soon. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and crack that open. Then we're going to go ahead and move her. Do we have another one to build another nest? Oh, shoot. We have to preserve it for that because it takes, I think it requires 10, 10 to build the nest. Well, we can destroy this. One, two, and then breed is three. Okay, so we don't, we don't have the time. <sighs> She's just going to have to wait the day. But, uh... Yeah, she's just going to have to wait the day. Let's just cut that. Cut the grass here. Um, and then have her fly into here. Alright, let's check out the second baby. Uh, let's cut uh, let's cut some of this grass though. Let's have her cut just so we could see. Can you cut this please? All right. So let's take a look. Whoa, sorry about that. Super jarring. All right, cool. Nimble fingers and claw and G and F. That's cool. Ranu. Um yeah, that's cool. Uh, he has the blindness as as a uh, inactive, which is, you know, and infertility, so it's something to look after. Let's go ahead and use, uh, let's just set this right now. Uh, and, uh, fertility. That's just something we have to take care of. His genes is G and F. Hers is B and G. His is A and F. So let's try to carry the A. We have a chance to carry the A in this line here with that family grouping, but, uh, it's always good to try to get that A. And we're not going to have anyone breed yet. These will be the only breeding couple on this day. So let's have everyone just cut grass and, uh, you know, collect and do things. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. We're just clearing the path here. So let's have you... ING. Okay, let's have her move forward into here. Ooh, is that an aggressive bear? Peaceful bear. I, I don't know if there's aggressive bears, actually. Let's go ahead and cut that. And cut this. And breed with her. Didn't work. So let's go ahead and have her... Uh-oh. Oh, this is such a bummer. And I already had use an action point, meaning if it doesn't work here... Oh, do you guys have fertility issues? 1-1. One, one. Oh, they do. I should have saved the action points. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it, y'all. We're just going to have to deal with it. So... By tomorrow, we're going to start... these. This family here is going to pretty much die in here, except for their kids. They're going to move forward. But these, this, this family is going to start collecting and pumping out kids, and that's pretty much their life for now on. Whereas, our scouting team here is going to go ahead and press northward. Let's have them move north. And the reason, again, why we're doing this is because we want to make good strides into getting uh, to the next island. I'm going to say this is going to take us five generations. I hope it doesn't, but I feel like it will. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pass the day. Okay, well, the bear's coming closer. Doesn't really have to come closer. Don't know why he's coming closer. Um, Alright, so... Let's do, let's take care of the breeding pairs first. Let's go ahead and move Lenmi out of the way. Let's go ahead and have, and uh, try to breed with her. It worked, go ahead and crack that, good for you. Fly back into the nest. Try to crack that, I don't know. 
You can cut that. Cut that grass there. And then have you move forward. Let's have you try to breed with her. Okay, it worked. That's good. Build the nest. Cut grass. Cut grass. And let's have you push forward. Cut grass. Good. There's a little bunny hideout. That's good. We're going to have you cut grass. Um. Shoot, we're kind of stuck. Because this damn bear is... <laughs> this damn bear is blocking the way. Um, cut grass. Hmm. Alright, have you move... Move down here. Please. Move. Move. Let's have everybody just move. Redonta, you can go ahead and get here, I think. Because at least you can collect. Uh, let's have the baby move out. And have you guys mate one more time. Okay, it worked. Go ahead and collect. And then... Is that everybody? Okay. I think it is. I think it is. Okay. I mean, keep pressing forward. God. We made little progress so far. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Alright, we have three new babies. Let's go ahead and check on them. Uh, <laughs> still cool color scheme. And we got the wings. Very, very good. Uh, we're gonna change his name though, because I think we had a Vandokuno before. No, I don't think we've had a Vandokuno. Okay, well, Vandokuno. Uh, really cool genes. Um, a and C, we got the A that we wanted. Um, good. They don't have to breed anymore. That's it. They're done. So that's really cool, right? Oh, that color scheme is so badass. It is so cool. And like the snout, it just, it's so cool. I can't get over it. It's so cool. Okay. Let's check out the other one. Cool, pretty run of the mill. <laughs> no, they're all beautiful. All, all of our creatures are wonderful. But, uh, run of the mill collector. Uh, GNF. We didn't get the A. Also, GNF. Ooh. Unlucky. Not the single variation. That's unlucky. But, um... Shoot, that's... We can't get the B? We can't get the B, huh? Because I, I do feel like their line is going to go ahead and move. Oh, damn. I totally forgot we were supposed to be doing last names. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's go through and name everybody right now. Okay, that's everybody's last name. So, we have Lenmi Semi. Let's get rid of this. Uh, we have Vendokuno Simi, and then we have the Amahans of the royal line. They're not they're not blessed with the star gene, but uh, they're still Amahans regardless. Um, yeah, and then let's go and check out the other kid, and she did not get the double wings. Another unfortunate uh, happenstance, but we have, uh, she's a Cola, so let's go ahead and name her. Damn, okay, so... But she did have a nim she has nimble fingers, which is great because she can still collect. So we can still work up to having wings. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for her, just so I won't forget. Now again, we're we're not we're not. I know it looks like I'm giving everybody the wings gene. I'm not. I'm trying to be much more conservative with it. I've only done that for uh, animals that already show signs of it. But everyone else, you know, they'll be um, having hands. <laughs> they'll have hands. They'll throw fists. Okay, so, we're gonna go one more attempt with the Prino line. Um, this couple is done here, they're done, good job. Uh, you know, we, we didn't get the B gene that the Amahan mother has. Because B, B can be very useful. Shoot, I don't know if I want to keep trying for that. I'm trying to measure out our food supply with um, how many that we have. No, I don't want to, you know, overpopulate, right? I'm at 15 already. I want to, ideally, I want to keep things under 20. But I mean, <laughs> I say that, right? But uh, that normally doesn't uh, happen. Okay, let's let's get let's move the scouts up ahead because they'll be cutting and we'll need the we'll need the grass. So, Koo, go ahead and cut all this. So they'll they'll try one more time. Um, I think we can only build one more nest. So. Let's move her down here. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, that worked. Go ahead and build the nest. Go ahead and destroy this nest, just to recoup. 
you can go ahead and destroy your nest. You're not going to be breeding anymore. And we have enough. Okay, so they can they can breed once more if they wanted as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's have her move into here. And it worked. We'll have her build that. Let's have him destroy this and collect food. All right. Uh, that is weird. What happened there? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Can you reach her? Oh, no. She's going to take damage. Uh, that's a bummer. That's that's one of the reasons why you want to be careful. This, uh... Oh, he's not going to make it. One, two... No, that, that's, that's pretty much not going to happen. <sighs> what a bummer. What a bummer. Okay, um... Can I move you? Alright, so... We're just going to have that happen. He's pretty much going to eat the thing. She's going to take damage. Nothing we can do about that. Alrighty. Um, she has her wings. You know what we're going to do now for her? We're just going to have her scout ahead. She doesn't need a nest. She doesn't need to stay behind. We'll just have her scout ahead. She'll leave the nest. Pop here. Uh, Tone to Cola. Oh, we have a bunch. The Colas are here. The Amahans are here. Are there only two And the Simis, right? You're a Simi? Yeah. So there's only three. Get that. There are three families on this island. The Simis, the Colas, and the Amahans. The Amahans we knew were going to move forward because they have the star trait, right? But Colas, if I remember correctly, that was from a rogue incident, maybe? I can't remember, but it's, it's definitely cool to see that subconsciously we moved these three families forward. Colas, Simis, and the Amahans. I forget the other family lines that we left behind, but, uh, oh, the Batal line, but uh, the Batal line's here somewhere. I think they carried on as, as a, as a Cola? Oh, I can't remember. I mean, they may have carried on as an Amahan as well. I forget the, the lineage at any rate. Let's go ahead and pass the day. Oh, you can move. Yeah, why not move you? Let's, let's have you move. You can dig, right? So let's just have you move forward here and maybe you'll run into something that you can dig. See, we're going to have to move her as a scout as well, right? So, all right, let's check on the baby. Oh, that does happen. She took damage. Okay, so I don't know if y'all just saw that, but uh, <laughs> she's just looking at her like, what happened? So she took damage from a falling coconut. She's bleeding. Cu looking cures it. Okay, well, look, look mom here. Uh, wait, what? Which one? Oh, right, this one. This one's bleeding. Okay, so... I don't know if y'all saw that. I totally thought that the coconut thing was gone. But apparently, no, that's not the case. If it blows down by wind or whatever, they can get knocked out and get hurt. Mimi is a death by coconut. Really sad. Really sad. Uh, let's check out the baby here. Pretty standard. Run of the mill. We got the bee. That's what we were looking for, right? Yeah, we got the bee. They're pretty much done. We'll go ahead and destroy the nest. They won't need to breed anymore. But we saw a, just a glimpse. But look at that. Look at that. Oh, we can't. What the? Uh oh. Sorry about that, folks. Anyways, look at this. Oh my god. Rolla looks so dope. In fact, we'll call her Rouge for red. Uh, Cola, right? You're a Cola. Yeah, dude. Look at this. She looks so badass. <laughs> Oh boy, that is so cool. B and B, uh, uh, C and G, E. Did you have a E in you? You do. So they're pretty much done. I mean, the I didn't carry. Oh, it did carry. So they're pretty much done too. You can go ahead and destroy this nest. Um, but but uh, Rouge looks so dope. Let's go ahead and worry about fertility. Let's do one wing just to keep that uh, persistent. And then we will do uh, fertility. That's so cool. I can't get over how cool that is. Look how badass. The horns are red. The coat's red and then black eyes. Nice. That's so cool. Alrighty. So let's let's push our scouts forward. Um, you Unfortunately, Lenmi can't do a thing here. So she's just going to have to push forward. Cut this. Cut that. Cut that. Go ahead and push Vaughn further in as well. Ooh, got some. Got something. Nice. We're at 500 again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward into here. Just cut grass. 
Let's have mom destroy this and have mom move forward and dig into here. That's really cool. Oh shit, she needs, she needs to get... Oh crap, I totally forgot. Oh, she's gonna die, dude. She's taking so much unnecessary damage. Oh no, Ronu, Ronu's coming to the rescue. <sighs> that was my bad. Totally forgot. Okay, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and gather this. They're gonna need to find a new gathering spot. So he's gonna, it's good that he's here because he can, you know, collect all this. But we're gonna have you go into here. Have you go into here. Yeah, so this is gonna be the gathering center for those guys. Really cool. Um, A and C. Ooh, C and G. They won't be able to breed. E and I. So these two can breed. So, uh, Vendokono and Islenta will be breeding pairs. Good for them. All right. So let's let's remedy this. Okay. Good. Gosh. Unnecessary. Infected by leech again? Oh my god, she is unlucky. So Rouge Cola doesn't have a mating pair. And there goes uh, uh, Mimi. Poor thing. Uh, let's just try to keep track of days. <gasps> I totally did not calculate that right. <laughs> oh no! I'm a fool! There's so much to keep track of that it's easy to lose sight of it. Okay, so they're gonna go on a breeding frenzy. Damn, that was my bad. Oh, I bet you there were people- I, if you're watching this, you're probably screaming at the- at the- at the video right now like, Dude! Vaughn! Lorenzi, they're gonna die! Okay, so I'm gonna cut the video out here. We- the very next thing we'll do is work on the breeding situation here. They only have- Oh my god. They'll have three days. Because they can't... They can't, uh, they can't breed on this turn. So, that sucks. We're already going to move her here. So, I'm going to cut the video out here. The very next day, they'll have three days. We're going to try to have them breed every single day. I don't know. It's going to be a mess. But, uh, that's, that's the next goal. At any rate, thank you all for joining. Um, more niche videos coming up soon.